Hey guys, it's me, my wand, and I am back with another video. Today is Friday, June 2nd, and it's currently 1.24 p.m. And I have Saint here with me, and I'm going to be doing this video very quick because I am on my lunch break right now and decided to do this video for you guys because eight of my videos are pretty late and the lighting gets really bad so i wanted to do this video for you guys right now while i have the time to do so so i am going to be changing him into the last matching onesie which is perfect because all i have is just three make one boys and seven is for sale so really just saint and milano i'm hoping this can fit saint um i think it should but it is the last matching onesie to the three onesies. Sevens, his is actually off of him because someone wanted like detailed photos of him and then we're like, okay, thank you. And then that was it. Like, <laughs> okay. But um, I just changed Milano into his onesie yesterday. So we're going to change the same to his. It is red. And I think this one is going to fit his skin tone really, really good. So, we're going to change him into this onesie. He has his bare friend, and I do have a topic for today's video. So, let's go ahead and get started. So, the topic for today's video is finding the right baby. Um, I'm just going to be talking about how do you know which baby is perfect for you and what to look for and how to find that baby. So, I used to impulse buy a lot <laughs> it just now takes me to stop buying everything i see or just buying because it's like a super good price and i only like the baby and not actually love it um i'm also probably going to stop buying like a lot of blank kits because i usually get my babies um already made so yeah Anyways, I used to always impulse buy and then w wonder why I can't bond with them after a couple of months and they end up for sale. And the bad thing about that is, you know, when you sell, you don't get as much as you pay. So then it just ends up becoming waste of money. And then if the doll takes forever to sell, it's kind of like, why did I buy the baby in the first place? So you start to feel like that. So I learned to just stop buying babies off of impulse and buy because I really love the baby and I can see the baby in my collection for a while. And finding that perfect baby or just the perfect baby for you, it doesn't necessarily have to be a perfect baby, it doesn't even have to be an expensive baby. Just finding that right baby for you and you'll know, you'll know it's the right baby for you. Um, just if you keep like going back and looking at like the photos of the baby or going back to the listing and like you really just want that baby and I haven't had that with a lot of the babies and all of the babies that I haven't had that with sold <laughs> like with September's listing I just kept going back to it and I was like let me just let me message her and that's how I knew she was the perfect baby for me. Um, another way you can tell is just sometimes it's not even a kit that like you've been wanting but haven't got yet because you haven't saw one you liked. Um, but for the most part, it can be that. Like I've been wanting an April ever since the clay version. And of course there were Aprils for sale. But none of them caught my eye like he did. They were painted beautifully. Um, they had rooted hair and everything like that, which is my favorite out of bald, painted, and rooted. I like rooted more. But no baby has caught my eye that was an April kit except for Saint. And it's kind of funny because he has like barely painted basically bald and that doesn't bother me at all for him and he is a forever baby for me so 
I think really just taking your time searching for what you want can help you get what you need instead of just buying, buying, buying. Um, of course, if you are new to the community and you don't necessarily know what you want or you don't really know what you like, of course, trying out new babies is the only way to figure out what you like and what you want. So that is completely understandable if you're new to the community. You have to get a feel for what you like and by doing that, you do have to explore many, many babies and some may stay and some may go, which is perfectly okay. But yeah, I think not buying everything I see has really helped me on getting babies that I really want. And sometimes it's just not really good to keep buying off of impulse. Um, and it's not even because later down the line you won't bond and then you possibly, wow, the cover is really wrinkled right here. <laughs> um, but it's not even really because you have to keep selling and you might not get how much you paid for the baby. But it's also because when that perfect baby do come along that you see up for sale, like, oh my gosh, either you've been waiting for that baby to come up for sale or if you just really, really love it, like, as soon as you see it, you just fall in love and like, oh my gosh. But the bad thing is, you have so many babies and maybe you don't have any room for any new baby. Or maybe you don't have quite enough money to get that baby. And so you could possibly miss out on the baby that you could really, really love and want in your collection just because you bought so many impulse babies. So... I don't know. I just thought it'd be nice to show like different perspectives on collecting the baby. Of course, this is just me talking. You guys don't have to do anything I say in the video. This is just me because I know how it feels to buy impulse babies. And then like, as soon as you get them, you're so excited. You open the box, you're happy with them. You can't stop holding them, changing them for about a week, two weeks. And then a month, two months, three months later, you don't even pick the baby up anymore. And that spark is like gone. And that ha that has happened to me many, many times. And it's not a fun feeling to just lose complete interest in the baby because you did once like it. But you have to start buying things that you love and not like because, you know, love is stronger than like. So... <laughs> <laughs> yeah anyways i do have this great hat but um i don't think i'm gonna put it on him i have to get more hats for the babies i think i have quite a few hats actually because messiah who you guys have not saw since 2020 but he's bald so i bought a lot of hats for him i just don't have a lot here with me but let me see I put the socks on him, and I might take the socks off. Yeah, the hat doesn't go too well with him. But yeah, it looks like he doesn't have painted hair, but he does. It's just really, really light, and it's just like in the front. And I've been thinking about getting him rooted, but I really like his little painted bald head. Can you guys see it? Probably not. It's probably not coming up on camera. It might. Yeah, it's like the hair goes down to his forehead. So cute. He has really good eyebrows. Like his mommy. His mommy has really good eyebrows. <laughs> but yeah, this is Saint. And I don't really put pacifiers in my baby's mouth anymore. This is completely off topic. But I don't put passies in my baby's mouth anymore i don't know why i used to be a really big passy person maybe i'll get some passies and magnetize them and start putting them in the baby's mouth but yeah he fits this onesie really really good it is a size i didn't think he was gonna fit it because it looked really small before i put it on him but it is a size zero slash zero months which i am pretty sure is a newborn size so I put some newborn clothes on him, but I do put zero to three on him as well. And I was saying in my last video when I changed 
Milano that I have to get some white sleeveless onesies to put on the babies um, as an under, under onesie, under T, so that their cloth doesn't show when they do wear like the sleeveless outfits. So, yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I know it's pretty short, but uh, I'm trying to start back on my schedule of posting four to five times a week. Um, I think I changed it to four times a week because before it was Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But now I am doing Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But as you guys saw, I haven't been doing that schedule in a long time. I'm trying to start back recording a lot, posting a lot, and things of that nature. So if you guys like the back-to-back -back videos and you guys like the Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday schedule, then let me know. If I can't do the Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it'll definitely be Friday, Saturday, Sundays, and Saturdays and Sundays for sure. So yeah, um, I'm thinking about, I said this in my last video with Milano, but I cut it out because that video was getting really long. But I was going to do a morning routine with Solano, but then uh, one of my friends, Alexis, recommended a day in the life. So I was like, that's really good. But it does take a while to plan for the routine videos and like a simple changing video. So I don't know if that's going to come anytime soon, but if I don't do it soon, like soon as in like in the next couple of days, next week, but it is going to be recorded, filmed and posted by this month. But I'm debating on if I want to change her into an outfit or just go ahead and do the day in her life. I'm still debating between those two. Anyways, that's pretty much it. I'm going to take you guys off of the tripod and bring you guys down and closer to him. So yeah, this is Saint and this is him in his cute little onesie. I knew this color was going to look super cute on him. This color red is like really pretty and I think it would have looked just as cute on Milano as well. But I decided to just go ahead and put it on Saint. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. If you guys want to go ahead and follow me on Instagram, you guys can go ahead and do so. My Instagram is Maya underscore Reborns. And I do have an email subscription that you guys can sign up for. And I send out little emails updating you guys about my collection and the babies and things like that. It's 100% free. And that link is in the description below, as well as the link directly to my Instagram page. And if you guys like this video, make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up, comment down below, anything you guys want in the comments, including video requests. And if you guys are not already subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Also, ring that bell so you guys can always be notified when I post another video. And we will talk to you guys later. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. Bye! You